um, I feel quite at home this evening to introduce him. Uh, Professor uh, Song Gi Jun received BA in Korean Language and Literature from Seoul National University and MA in uh, Altaic Languages uh, at the Graduate Division of University of California at Berkeley, where I also did receive MA. And finally, he received PhD degree in Inner Asian and Archaic Studies from Harvard University in 1978. Uh, before returning to Korea to teach, he taught for a few years at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. And he, he has been professor of Korean linguistics at the Academy of Korean Studies before he moved to uh, Seoul National University's Department of Korean Language and Literature. May I introduce, may I welcome uh, Dr. Song Yi. Uh, thank you, Professor Yi Song Yi. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very, very glad to see you this evening. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Song Ki Jung. Song is my last name. Uh, for foreigners, uh, my last name is Song is uh, one of the harder pronunciation to produce properly. It's spelled S O N G, but uh, the proper Korean pronunciation is uh, Song. That's Song. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, and also, uh, you may, some of you, uh, uh, wondering about what is uh, Altai studies. Uh, Altai is the name of a mountain uh, located in southwestern part of Mongolia, between China and uh, Mongolia. And uh, this name has been used to, uh, is the name of a language family, like Indo-European. So Altai language means uh, the group of uh, languages spoken mostly by nomadic peoples, nomadic peoples like Mongols, Manchus, Turks, and the Turks. So some scholars uh, have uh, been, uh, have uh, thought that Korean belongs to this type of that's what I studied uh, at the University of uh, California at Berkeley, then at the Harvard University. So I'll take that. What I think the reason why I, we not have uh, many gesture, uh, the Korean alphabet has been too well known to foreigners, so maybe most of the foreign gesture. I thought uh, I'm going to deliver about the same lecture they have uh, uh, had uh, uh, more than once. <laughs> I'll read uh, what I prepared. Uh, peculiarities of the Korean alphabet, Hangul. Uh, Hangul, uh, I think it would be an interesting change. Uh, I have the uh, romanization of uh, Hangul. Perhaps Korea is the only country in the world where a national holiday is set to com uh, commemorate the creation of a writing system. I do not know any other country. Uh, the, okay. uh, by the way, this, uh, this transcription, Hangul, is uh, now is an official transcription uh, adopted by the, the Korean government for 10 years. And uh, this one is a uh, so-called uh, making rise of system, uh, which has been widely used uh, during the past 60, 70 years. I like this system, uh, then this one. So I give you two sheets. 
sisters, the hyper in the first transcription and the apostrophe in the second uh, transcription is to avoid uh, the pronunciation, like uh, in order to avoid uh, uh, to be pronounced H A N G E L S Hangul, Hangul, Hangul. So it's put there by the regulation of the uh, official transcription. We put the hyper, but this optional. You know, Koreans in Korea are educated at the school. In the Korean alphabet, Hangul is the precious national heritage as well as a national pride. The Koreans educated in Korea and the foreigners who have learned some Korean history and or language we have heard that Hangul is a unique writing, writing system which was uh, scientifically devised and created. As a matter of fact, that a few Koreans still believe uh, the assumption that Hangul is the most efficient writing by which the sound of any language could be properly written. As such, Hangul is more than a writing system for the Koreans. What the Koreans are proud of Hangul is uh, mainly, uh, mostly is a grammatological uh, aspect. Uh, many of you are uh, not familiar with this word, uh, grammatology. Grammatology is, uh, a, I think, uh, created by an American, American grammatologist in the 1950s. It's uh, uh, the study of uh, writing system. The study of writing system is uh, called the grammatology. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, many of you uh, know this word. More specifically, the systematic creation of uh, graphic signs uh, representing the uh, uh, phonemic sound of Korean. Modern English to wonder how the creators of a Hangul were able to accurately observe the uh, structural contrast of uh, sound uh, phonemes in the 15th century. For example, such an equality as a K versus G versus K, K versus N, G, E, E, K, like that. In Western linguistics, the concept of phoneme and the structural contrast to a known only in the uh, early uh, 20th century. In addition to the grammat grammatological and the linguistic features, Social aspect may be uh, measured as a peculiarity of the Korean school. That is, uh, the particular aspect on the part of the learners and the users of the script. Since the formal or well, is well known, although often ambiguously, most of the Korean, uh, ordinary Koreans uh, have heard that uh, the Korean script is was created very scientifically and systematically is the best, uh, best uh, script in the world or so and so. But uh, if you ask them what is the scientific aspect of uh, your uh, script, uh, I don't think uh, uh, many can answer you proper, uh, properly. So the letter is I to use for the offering. Uh, social aspect of a hunger, uh, uh, I will uh, introduce my first. <coughs> uh, please uh, refer to the keynote uh, number one. In Korea, October 9 is uh, a working holiday. Until 1990, it is a normal holiday, no works. But uh, because, uh, because of the uh, industrial sect, sector, in this period, yes, article, we had too many holidays, so they uh, reduced uh, this uh, Hangul alphabet day was, uh, uh, has become a working holiday. Holiday, but working. It will come in 10 days, in uh, 9 days. Uh, so uh, this uh, alphabet day is done. Uh, you are not familiar with uh, uh, the alphabet day, but uh, we have alphabet day in Korea. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, on this day, uh, uh, commemorate 
Eucharistian ceremonies are held by the government, by the Ministry of uh, uh, Culture and uh, Tourism, uh, the, uh, in charge of uh, the ceremonies uh, on this day. And the various uh, private organizations and the schools uh, uh, hold uh, the ceremonies on this day. October 9 is supposed to be the day when the Korean outfit was uh, probably in 1446, and the theoretical book Kun Min Jong was uh, completed. In North Korea, the commemoration day is January 15, the day when the Korean outfit was supposed to have been completed in 1446. Uh, a merit or the merit of a script could not be an absolute, uh, but is a relative concept. As one cannot describe the outstanding features of a thing without knowing others of the same kind as the Koreans whose knowledge of the uh, pornographic writings was limited to that of the Korean outfit would have hardly realized the merit of the script they were using. Thus, it was natural that the Peculiarities of the Korean script were mentioned uh, or remarked uh, at first uh, by the foreigners. Uh, the uniqueness, simplicity, and the efficiency of the Korean script were already remarked in the Henry Hardell, Hardell's uh, journal published in Rotterdam and Amsterdam in 1668, which has been regarded as the earliest known extensive accounts on Korea in the West. The past, I, I, I think uh, many of you already are familiar with the name Henry Carmel. He was a Dutch. Uh, his uh, ship was a Richter in uh, the uh, south of Jeju Island. And, uh, uh, he spent in uh, Korea for 30 so the passage read as follows. They write in three different ways. The first way, where the main one is like the Chinese and the Japanese. In that way, all their books are printed as well as the official state record uh, concerning the government. The second way is very fast. Like the current uh, writing in the uh, uh, fatherland, uh, the, his fatherland is of course Holland. Uh, this way is uh, much used by important people and uh, governors, governors when they write a judgment or add a recommendation to uh, request, as well as in writing letters to one another. Common people cannot read this script uh, very well. The third way uh, is used uh, by women and uh, common people. It is very easy to learn and uh, one is able to write everything. One can write down dates one has never heard before, easier and better than in the old way. All this is done with uh, pencils, very skillfully and quickly. That's what Hannah uh, wrote. Uh, here, Hamel precisely described the overall situation of the writings uh, during the Joseon dynasty. The first way refers to the formal or printed style of the Chinese characters found uh, in almost all of the printed official and private document in written uh, Chinese. Some, some people prefer the translation classical Chinese, but the, my American advisor, when I was a graduate student in the state, my advisor urged me not to use classical because uh, it's a written Chinese, and the, the meaning of uh, uh, classical and uh, the written are uh, different. Uh, by the way, written Chinese was a sort of a written lingua franca in China, in Japan, in Korea, and uh, uh, to a certain extent in Vietnam. 
until the end of the 19th century, it was uh, a rich in international language eh, in East Asia. Uh, the readings were different from one language to another. The, the meanings were, were understandable uh, by those countries. Uh, the second way was to be the cursive or grass or handwritten style of the Chinese characters, which was commonly used by the government officials and the ordinary intellectuals in their ordinary correspondence. The language was either written Chinese or mostly written Chinese. Uh, that is, the standard written language of the intellectuals until the end of the 19th century were the clerkly writing. Uh, is also, you are also, we are not familiar with the word this clock rewriting, is that, uh, which was used by the local functionaries uh, in Korea. The third way clearly refers to the Korean script, then called by the name Onmun. Onmun uh, denotes the uh, vernacular script, which, as Hamel re remarked, was mostly used by women and uh, common people. Popular literature, religious books, uh, references for right, uh, medicine, farming, and so on, which were needed in daily life were also published in Korean written uh, by Han Hangul, the Korean script. However, the Korean script was uh, virtually unknown in Europe until the end of the 18th century. As grammatology, the study of writing systems was developing in the 18th, 19th century, the Korean script, which was then newly introduced, was uh, included in the studies of writings in Europe. All these studies quickly noted the, the unique shapes of the signs asserting that they cannot be compared with those of uh, neighboring Chinese or Japanese or any other known script elsewhere. The mysterious uh, Korean script nationally drew attention of the leading uh, orientalists of the early 19th century, Jean-Pierre Albert Rebusa of uh, France and uh, Heinrich Julius Klaproth of Germany. They not only investigated the system of the Korean script, including its alphabetical nature of the signs uh, uh, representing vowels and consonants, and the way the signs, signs are put together, but also contemplated uh, on the origin of the Korean script following the current trend of grammatology. Beginning 1830s on, works exclusively treating the Korean language were published, mostly by the missionaries. In the early years of the Catholic missionaries, but the, uh, later uh, the, the Protestant church missionaries from the United States and Canada, and uh, some uh, from uh, Britain, the England were engaged, uh, engaged in the study of their professional studies were published at the end of the 19th century. Uh, uh, the, uh, in their works, uh, the Korean alphabet was uh, necessarily uh, introduced uh, with uh, admiration on its simplicity and uh, efficiency uh, for the uh, learners. Actually, uh, those uh, foreigners, uh, the missionaries taught uh, the Korean that the, the alphabet is excellent. And, uh, 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 until then, the Koreans always thought uh, it's a, a, a very mean writing. Uh, the Chinese characters are very uh, highly uh, valued. But uh, uh, because uh, the Korean alphabet is uh, too easy to learn, so it is uh, uh, no value at all. So it's not very important. Uh, they always uh, look down upon their own alphabet, but the uh, foreigners, the missionaries told the new alphabet is uh, the, the best thing to work. <laughs> it's not much, much. So, uh, 
actually the Korean alphabet for which the original name was Hanmin uh, and is a correct sound to teach the people was created by the first king of the Joseon dynasty, King Sejong. Uh, king Sejong is the most uh, celebrated uh, uh, the king in the history of Korea. Yeah, you can see that he's a statue in the in Hong Kong, the, the, the huge statue. Uh, for the practical purpose, uh, King Sejong, for the practical purpose of offering literacy for daily life to the common people, the royal prefects are found in the book, Hunmin uh, in which the theoretical explanations concerning the uh, creation are presented in detail. The prefects, uh, the royal prefects, uh, read as follows. Uh, as the sound of our country's language is uh, different from those of the Middle Kingdom, uh, they were not confronted with the sound of the Chinese practice. Therefore, among the ignorant people, there have been many who have desired to put something in word, but have been unable to express their feelings. Having been very uh, pitiful or sympathetic about this, I have newly created 28 letters which I wish to have everyone practice uh, easily and uh, make uh, convenient for their uh, daily use. I don't know whether uh, any of you have some experience in uh, Chinese, uh, so I will just show you. Uh, uh, how is written. He says that uh, the royal prefects, uh, uh, what I just translated, that uh, is uh, uh, followed by the speech. Okay. Uh, King Sejong's school of uh, creating the Korean script was successfully achieved. The script was easily learned and used by anyone who wanted, but the, uh, the, uh, like uh, in any other countries, uh, the majority of the Koreans were too late to learn the, uh, the alphabet until the 1940s or 50s. So when we were uh, college students in the 60s, so we still went to the countryside teach those illiterate the old old people uh, and Korean. However, one should not misunderstand that, that King Sejong intended to have all kinds of documents to be written by the new script. The record of which were to be permanently preserved or continuously written in written Chinese. They included such official record as uh, diaries of the central government offices veritable record or annals, annals of previous reigns, manuals of uh, the national, uh, very detailed record of all the important uh, national ceremonies. So uh, about 300 of them were taken by the French, uh, French maybe in 1886, and uh, uh, recently uh, the Korean government was successful to get them back yeah, uh, uh, I translate uh, the manuals, manuals of uh, uh, national ceremonies. Uyghe in, uh, in Korean, uh, yeah, it's called Uyghe. Uh, royal genealogies and so on. In the private sector, clan genealogies and uh, literary, literary works of the learned it was the uh, language of the inherited wisdom, such as the Confucian classics and nas uh, national and the Chinese histories and the literature. It was also the language of uh, documentation for future references. Therefore, cultivation of the reading and the writing ability of the written Chinese was the uh, principal uh, primary objective of 
uh, school education in Korea uh, during the Joseon dynasty. Uh, uh, I don't think uh, the Korean alphabet was taught at the regular schools uh, uh, during the Joseon dynasty. It was just that somehow they uh, learned the, uh, it was too easy to, uh, to learn the Korean uh, script. And so uh, at the schools, uh, they didn't teach. These books must have been easier to understand than, uh, as I already mentioned above, books needed or helpful for daily life were published in Korea. These books must have been easier to understand than those in written Chinese at the time of publication. However, they are not so easy to read after several hundred years uh, since the language has been changed. Uh, so, uh, deciphering or uh, understanding of uh, these old, uh, these books published in Korea uh, 300 years ago, 500 years ago, are sometimes much more difficult than those written in written Chinese. That our ancestors uh, uh, realized very well. So, they uh, they uh, wrote all the documents to be preserved permanently well, uh, written in Chinese, in written Chinese, and those uh, for the common people's daily life were written in Korea. As it is well known, until the end of the 19th century, everywhere in the world, uh, the majority of the people were illiterate. It is said that even in the European countries uh, where there, there are long history of uh, uh, writing or literacy, more than 90 percent of the uh, population were illiterate, like uh, Germany or uh, France. Uh, I do not know England, but uh, even Germany and uh, France at the end of the uh, uh, 19th century still the uh, more than 90 percent of the population were illiterate. That I read that uh, somewhere uh, in the immigration. Uh, 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 during the, the European countries so over the long history, uh, more than um, until before the compulsory education system uh, was uh, introduced during the final decade of the uh, 19th century. I don't uh, uh, remember the exactly, but something like in the 1880s in uh, unified Germany, I mean, Wilhelm, from Wilhelm, ordered uh, to teach German language instead of Latin and Greek. So the compulsory education started in France and Germany uh, during the uh, 1970s, uh, 1870s, 80s. Uh, that's what I uh, remember. Including those, uh, the reading and writing were privileges enjoyed by a limited number of people, including those uh, belonging to the ruling class, religious persons, and the scholars. Among the ordinary people, literary persons were rare, both in the East and West. Uh, in passing, Henry Hamel was the bookkeeper uh, of the Richter ship. Hangul was created by the monarch as a secondary writing, which was easy to learn to help the common people's daily life. Such an example would be hard to find uh, in the pre-modern history of uh, Venezuela, any other country. Uh, I, I don't think of, uh, there is uh, such an example of the history uh, we have uh, in Korea. Linguistic and uh, uh, grammatological characteristics of uh, Hangul. The, the, the relationship between Hangul and the uh, Wang or the other script known to have existed before the former was created in the middle of the 15th century has been a subject of intellectual conjecture from the very beginning uh, of the uh, creation of the Hangul. In the earliest uh, reference to the script uh, found in the veritable record of King Zedong, it is said that the 
let us imitate the old film is a star. The, uh, I think we have all this, one of the oldest uh, style of Chinese tradition. Beside the old cell, the Indian, the Indian, Indian script uh, known in China and uh, in uh, Korea were not uh, Devanagari, Devanagari, but Siddham, Siddham script uh, was, I think, uh, introduced and the word our ancestors called the Indian script was Siddham, Siddham script, not Devanagari. Uh, and the Paka, Paka scripture, Paka scripture created uh, during the Kumilai period in the 13th century, in uh, 1259, uh, the, and the order of uh, Emperor Kumilai, the Lama, Tibetan Lama Paka, is the reader like the Pakta, Pak, 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 the script of, where, uh, who were mentioned as the model of uh, the Korean script uh, by Confucian scholars in the successful period of the Joseon Kingdom. Since the Korean script was known to the West in the 19th century, various opinions on their origin ranging from unknown to over Sanskrit or Tibetan origin were expressed by the Western scholars. During the final decade of the uh, 19th century, lengthy studies on Hangul were published by the three famous missionary scholars residing in Seoul, James Scott, Homer Halbert, and uh, James Gale. They are very uh, well-known uh, uh, Protestant uh, uh, missionaries as well as scholars uh, in Korean studies uh, at the end of the uh, 19th century and early uh, the 20th century. Especially uh, former Desiree uh, Halbert, uh, he helped uh, the independence movement of the Koreans when Korea was annexed to Japan in 19. And he helped and uh, he was uh, boosted out of Korea by the Japanese government. Uh, 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 centuries old the simple assumptions were attempted to prove uh, regarding the origin of, uh, of uh, Hangul have uh, mostly disappeared since 19, when the book Kumijong was uh, dramatically rediscovered. Uh, this uh, is, uh, I think, a unique example in the world uh, that, uh, that the, uh, the theoretical explanations uh, uh, described in detail. There is no other example in the world of uh, 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 this kind. So this is uh, now, I think, a national treasure of uh, the Republic of Korea, number 70 or so. Uh, this book, this book uh, is uh, named the uh, National Treasure. In this work, uh, all the theoretical details concerned with the creation of the new writing system are uh, presented. The linguistic observations on the sound are supplemented by the philosophical justifications. The dominant thought then was neo Confucianism. It had been advanced as a metaphysical science during the Southern Song Dynasty, 1127 to uh, 12th to 13th century, by Chushi. Once neo Confucianism was introduced into Korea during the Korean period, it had become the principal ideology that lasted till the end of the Joseon dynasty. Uh, uh, Joseon dynasty ended in 1910. Uh, the the, uh, the Confucian cosmology, which was explained by such terms as uh, tag in Korean, Chinese in Taiji, Taiji, yeah, I think uh, uh, this term Taiji is uh, uh, also 
uh, has been well so why they go in the world the Tai Chi. Uh, the Korean uh Sino Korean pronunciation is Kek for the uh Grand Earthquake. Uh, these scholars are not very uh, satisfied with the, this translation, the grand or the great uh, ultimate. And so, Taiji is uh, commonly used. And the Umyang, Umyang is also very well known term, Inyang, or the positive and the negative. Uh, during the negative, of course, the Um is uh, uh, negative and the Yang is positive. Yeah. And the uh, uh, Oheng, Oheng is the five ways. Yi 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 is, is also uh, a hard uh, concept uh, translated in the language of Yi Qi in all the transcription, Li Hai Bu Qi, and the modern Chinese transcription is L-I-Q-I, is pronounced Li Qi. The crystal and the matter and the soul was applied to explain the sound. For modern students, the validity of the philosophical explanations is hard to judge whether they are correct or incorrect or they are rational or irrational is hard to judge. Other than the philosophical uh, explanations, the linguistic observations are admirable from the point of view of uh, modern linguists. The creators of the Korean alphabet realized the systematic relationships of uh, the sound which are reflected in the phonetic symbols uh, they created. Concerning the creation of the uh, Korean script, the following steps could be detected from the Kunmin uh, Jong. I tried to make this part uh, uh, easy for common people, commoners, uh, to the specialist. Uh, it's easy to understand, uh, but according to my own experience during the past 40 years, uh, the common people understand very well uh, when we explain the theoretical background uh, the modern scholars uh, 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 admire that it's uh, hard to understand by uh, the commoners and stuff. I try to put it uh, easy. So the, the steps, the first step is uh, finding out the sound for phonemes uh, in modern sense, uh, distinguishing First of all, in order to create uh, uh, the script, uh, you must uh, find out how many kind of uh, the distinguishable, distinguishable sound are there in the language is uh, and you create everything. Right? The second step is uh, systematic or paradigmatic. Paradigmatic uh, classification is also sort of typical. Syntagmatic and the paradigmatic. Classification uh, or categorization of the sound. So, this step is a creation of a consonantal uh, symbols for the uh, five sound representing the five categories, uh, each category one letter. The shapes of the symbol. Symbols, the shapes of symbols imitating the articul uh, articulation part, part of the, articul uh, uh, the speech organ uh, in the mouth. First step, creation of a symbols for all the consonants by an addition of one or two lines to the representative or by a combination of all the image symbols. Number five, creation of uh, five, f the fifth step, creation of symbols for the three basic vowels, symbolizing heaven. Heaven is symbolized by a, a circle or a dot. 
Krishna, the, the traditional concept that the heaven was uh, around uh, and the jersey is uh, scared, it's scared and the heaven is round. You know? uh, so to adopt uh, different uh, the, uh, heaven for us. The earth, uh, horizontal line, and the human beings are vertical. So sun above and the earth, the earth are flat, and the in between the vertical human being. Is the uh, we call it samje. The literal translation is uh, uh, I, I, I will explain the little samje. The sixth uh, final step is uh, creation of uh, symbols for all the vowels. Uh, a combination of the basic symbols uh, in accordance with the paradigmatic construct of the uh, vowel sound. So, although finding out or determination of phonemes uh, distinguished in a language is not, a, not an easy work even for a uh, trained modern linguist. It's very, very difficult and uh, uh, more, often, more often than not, the linguists make uh, mistakes so when they try to give a uh, new script uh, to a, uh, people uh, who have never had any script uh, in uh, certain parts of the world. Uh, so step one has not been a, a surprise for the modern scholars. They, uh, the modern scholars have mentioned the oh, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, marvelous point of Kim Jae Jong who, uh, who the, the signal or who distinct who found the number of uh, distinguishable uh, sound in Korea, although it's very, very difficult to work uh, even for the modern scholars like that. For step two, the creators of Hangul utilized the traditional Chinese model of uh, classification of uh, uh, initial consonant. In the Chinese model, so the six consonants are classified by five uh, or seven categories and the four classes. The Koreans determined the 17 basic consonants for Korean, which were classified following the uh, Chinese model. The, this is like that. So there are uh, five of the molar, tongue, lip, tooth, uh, throat, of the hair is uh, five classes, and including this uh, half tongue and uh, half tooth is the seven. And then there are four classes, uh, all clear, second clear, all body, uh, not clear, not body, this is traditional term. This classification of uh, the consonant were traditional Chinese developed in the 9th, uh, 10th century during the Song, Song Dynasty. But uh, it's uh, called uh, 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 homogenic classification. Um, you are not uh, the homogenic classification is of a constant having the uh, same place uh, of articulation. In other words, uh, this uh, molar sound, uh, molar sound is in uh, in modern terminology in Western language in English is a villa, villa sound. G, k, g, g, k, g, mm. All of them are articulated uh, in the, the root of tongue, the root of tongue. So, uh, this uh, so-called molar sounds are produced uh, by the uh, the that, uh, touching touching of the root of tongue to bell bell. The 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 letter representing this group this group sound is uh, the kyo. This shape, 
say, this shape is exactly what the root of tongue, a uh, side view of uh, the root of tongue touches the venom. venom. Then the uh, tongue sound is uh, what is called uh, dental, dental or alveolar reach in modern uh, terminology in English. Uh, the basic sound uh, the creators of Hanbul chose was uh, N. Yeah. All this group, all this group are produced uh, by the uh, touching of uh, tip of tongue to the uh, uh, alveolar region or upper, upper teeth. This tip of tongue touching this part uh, is uh, uh, the symbolized by the uh, uh, symbol of uh, the this symbol. This symbol is the then the lip sound uh, is a labial sound actually labial sound. Uh, the, the shape of the basic basic sound, uh, representing sound, uh, uh, the letter was uh, modeled after the shape of the vowel sound. Somehow, scale. Uh, the in Chinese characters, the the, the character uh, meaning mouth is of the, this shape, scale. Then, two sound is uh, this. Is as so it is a, uh, I have given here a side view of the low teeth and the uh, you know, zero sound, uh, the outline of the stroke. So these are uh, uh, five five letters, uh, the basic basic letters uh, representing the five basic sound uh, and the uh, A. Uh, I will create it, uh, representing the uh, shape of the articulatory part of the, our speech organ. Uh, the, 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 the rest, uh, these are, this is step three and uh, step four are the innovation of the creators of a handle. This classification uh, the Koreans, uh, Koreans uh, uh, utilize the Chinese tradition, but uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, slightly different, uh, somewhat different. But uh, this kind of uh, logical classification was uh, already produced uh, in the fifth century, and uh, the Chinese uh, were probably they developed this kind of classification under the influence of the Indian. Phonetics, uh, but we are not sure. Uh, it's a slightly different. The first, the first three categories are uh, identical between the uh, ancient Indian and the Chinese, but the next two categories are uh, radically different. Uh, now, this is now this is three and the four. Uh, but the Korean innovation of uh, uh, as a not the classification, but the creation of the uh, letters, the creation of the symbols uh, in accordance with the, uh, the sound uh, over the part of uh, speech organ. Uh, that's the uh, uh, creation in the, mm, uh, uh, admired and praised by numerous modern linguists uh, in terms of uh, traditional design for uh, the most uh, Perfect uh, phonetic system device uh, and so these are all uh, the European and American uh, English or uh, grammatologists that have praised uh, uh, praised the uh, Korean alphabet. Uh, this uh, step three and step four are the, uh, the most uh, uh, the important part uh, for the characteristics of the Korean uh, the alphabet. Then. The rest of 12 symbols 
excluding the five, uh, six, uh, six, uh, 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 six marked by uh, asterisks were created by an addition of one or two lines uh, to the basic symbol. In other words, uh, uh, this, this letter is uh, just, uh, uh, the, uh, this letter is uh, this letter plus one line. And uh, uh, this is somewhat different. It's a major sound. Uh, all these, uh, uh, these three belong to major sound. So, uh, uh, especially this one, they explain that. Also, the, uh, this belong to this bolder uh, uh, sound, but it's uh, quite different from the other three. So this cannot be the representative of this category. So this one, uh, they chose this one as the representative of uh, this category. Yeah. Uh, uh, the other uh, uh, representative of each category is this one. Is, uh, here is less. Uh, and uh, here, addition of uh, uh, basic letter plus one line plus uh, another line, two lines. There, yeah, this is uh, implicit, uh, this class of sound uh, for voiced sound, voiced consonants is uh, all modern sound in the traditional tone. So they were created by the doubling or uh, doubling of uh, this uh, procedure, the unestimated on um, voiced sound. Okay. Uh, Step five and step six were also brilliant innovation of the creative of Hangul. But the designs of the symbol were philosophical, representing the three talent, uh, talented, uh, talented, talented, three talented. Is a, uh, is a, uh, the heaven. Us and the human being, the three. So originally, uh, the original shape of this uh, like uh, the basic three sound uh, that representing the heaven, the roundness of the and the uh, horizontal line representing the, the uh, Yes, yes, and uh, the vertical line, human beings, the verticality of uh, human beings. Then, the first stage of combination, so the heaven above the earth is, uh, of course, yang, the bright side, positive side. And the opposite is uh, heaven below the earth, heaven below the earth. Is um, the negative side of uh, dark. Here, yang means uh, uh, positive or bright. Here, negative, dark, uh, uh, male, female, all kinds of dualistic idea, dual, uh, dualistic philosophy of explanation. Then, there, in the Tuminjong, it is said uh, the heaven outside. On the right means outside, and on the left of human beings is inside the human being. So we can uh, understand that outside or east, heaven, in the east side of a human being, yang, the positive, and uh, uh, heaven inside of a human being or west, west side of a human being is um, the opposite. Then, secondary stage combination is uh, two dark. That uh, is uh, uh, called the uh, yotisized, yotisized mouth. You, uh, are there anyone who knows the Hebrew uh, or some of the yoga? In, in many scripts, uh, including Latin alphabet, uh, Latin alphabet, the Y, what is called the semi vowel uh, is uh, represented uh, by an independent uh, letter. But in Korean, uh, and, uh, 
Sidney, Sidney got the idea of the why does a uh, simple vowel like the ya, ya, yo, you are uh, like that. These four letters uh, stand for that. So the two dot is a uh, yo, yo, the plus o. So yo, and uh, uh, these two dot is u, u plus yo. Uh, you sound uh, uh, in By the way, in Korean, uh, Y is not an independent uh, uh, sound. Koreans uh, perceive uh, the sound Y as a uh, kind of a E, vowel E. Vowel, uh, they don't think, they don't uh, uh, recognize uh, Y sound, something like, uh, more like a uh, uh, Consonant, but in Korean is a uh, sort of a vowel, that consonant. So, uh, then, uh, the remarkable fact is the creators of a uh, this Korean script uh, classified uh, the Korean vowel and explained uh, by the uh, philosophical terms yang and lu, positive and negative. But somehow, even now, modern Koreans, not only in the 15th century, much more stronger than uh, now, but uh, even now, the Koreans have a feeling uh, about the uh, the word uh, which contain these uh, young vowels, when they hear the word uh, containing these vowels, uh, young side, the positive vowel side, we feel somewhat bright, uh, feminine, uh, or uh, childish. And uh, those are on this side, uh, the opposite, uh, the dark, darkish. So uh, here I translate this symbol. In fact, the contrast between the two series of vowels, the yang, positive, and the um, which uniquely uh, exist in Korea. I have, uh, when I was in the state, I have uh, asked uh, some 30 or 40, uh, that the, the students from 30 or 40 different countries, of whose native tongues are different. So I asked them whether, uh, when they uh, talk, they hear the vowel ah, uh, they feel bright and all dark. None of them told me, ah, yes, but the Koreans, yes, the only Koreans still have that uh, the feeling. So, yeah, by the, uh, uh, so, here, in Korean, there are many pairs of of a word or found which are contrasted by the yang and the um vowels. Just uh, yeah. uh, those are only the yang vowels convey a sense of um, smallish, childish, feminine, uh, brightish, like a uh, 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 brother uh, feeling. There is those who would be countering um vowels, uh, largish, adultish, masculine, uh, this kind of the creators of Hangul precisely observed this phenomenon in the Korean language and then created the shape more accordingly. So uh, some of the uh, example is Adang uh, Adang is an onomatopoeic word uh, describing the shape of a child uh, walking. Adang uh, Adang Kada is Adang Adang is a so, if the vowel I is changed to the opposite, uh, R to O, Ojong Ojong is uh, not used, cannot be used for child, for adult, uh, describing the, the working of adult. Uh, then, uh, like Balgata is uh, bright red, bright red color is Balgata. But if the vowel is changed to all, all the time, 
red with a little bit dark color is a mixture of kinds of polyvertite. Polyvertite is just very bright. And then even uh, the, uh, some of the words are that only want to put it, but uh, it's contrasted by the vowels like a bat. Mashita is uh, what can be tasteful, tasteful in your small side, uh, which can be put in your mouth is uh, mat. And uh, the changing of the vowel to mat is uh, what is expressed outside. Uh, the taste you feel outside of a, a, a person is mat. So there are many of uh, this kind of cases in Korean, and uh, uh, we are very uh, surprised at how almost 600 years ago, creators of the Korean alphabet were able to find uh, the contrast in Korean vowels. In the, uh, they create the uh, symbols according uh, to the findings and the classifications. That's what I prepared. Thank you very much.